You guys, it is the best day of the week. It's like day. Today, I'm gonna bring you guys with me to the gym to show you guys what my lower body workouts look like. Because although I post like a lot of home workouts to follow along with, I don't train at home anymore. I train at the gym. And if the gym is open, I will forever train at the gym. So I wanna show you guys what I actually do to get these gains. Okay, like if you want, if you want gains like this, you know, like, like this, you might want to follow my workouts. <laughs> to give you guys a little rundown of what my workouts usually look like, I train first thing in the morning just to get it over and done with. So I usually have like a smoothie shake in the morning and then I will, what the hell is this? Why is my padding for my sports bra over here? The hell? Okay, we don't need that. Now in terms of my workout splits, I usually work out the same muscles on the same days just so it's like more routine and it's easier for me to keep track and just to carry out, it's easier for me. When I have a routine, it's easier for me. I like routines, okay? I'm a routine kind of gal. What I do is I work four times a week. Mondays, I start off the week strong with some glutes. I do a glute-focused workout. Then, usually Wednesdays, I would do upper body. So I would do my shoulders, back, chest, and a bit of abs all together. Then, Thursday or Friday, I will hit lower body. So that would be a bit of glutes as well as quads, hamstring, calves, all that good stuff. That I'm going to show you guys today. And then the weekend, I will hit full body. And if I feel extra like I want to train again, I will do another lower body. But I'll make sure I have one day rest in between the two lower bodies that I do at the end of the week. You always want to make sure you're resting. You don't want to have leg day every day. That is going to do nothing for you. So... I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to go to the gym. I'm currently wearing this sports bra right now from Gymshark, which I think is really cute. I love it. And then my leggings are the famous scrunch butt leggings, as you guys can see, makes my assets look really good. And this is actually from Annabelle Hayes. I don't know if you guys follow her. She's a fellow YouTuber, Canadian girl, fitness, personal trainer. All that good stuff, definitely go check her out. I'm also going to be wearing Converse just because you want to be wearing flat shoes when you're lifting heavy. When you wear flat shoes, you're more closer to the ground, so you're able to really just sink in your feet to the ground, lift heavier, and it's just better. You don't want to wear, like, elevated lifted shoes, shoes that have a cushion. That's more for, like, cardio stuff. You want flat shoes. You want the closest thing to the ground. This is why sometimes you guys may see people wearing socks while lifting is because they want to be as close as possible to the ground they're not doing it because their feet hurt they're doing it for a reason there's purpose behind everything lifters do okay i'm gonna go ahead and get ready and meet you guys at the gym i'm excited let's go before i do my um gym workouts for lower body i always like 80 percent of the time do my pre-workout before so right now i have the c4 i am using their blue raspberry flavor i genuinely dry scoop it honestly so that's what we're gonna do today no it's almost done uh, there's literally like barely anything left in here i need to get some more i need to re-up on my drugs okay i always feel like when i take this in my car people are looking at me like what the hell is she taking like what kind of powder is she just putting down straight to the throat but if you know then you know you know and if you don't know then you don't know. So, I'm about to do my warm up. I'm pretty sure by the time I get my warm up done, the tingly feeling's gonna kick in and all of that. Oh, he is sexy. Ew, he just spat on the floor. Never mind. All right, so this is my typical warm up that I do for my lower body days. It basically consists of dynamic stretches. So, I'm just moving in and out of a movement, like an exercise movement that I would probably do for my workouts. As you can see, I'm like bending down past a 90 degree angle and then I extend up while extending my knees all the way. This is super good because it's basically just opened up my hip flexors and that's basically what my warm up is consist of. Just me opening my hip flexors so that it becomes a lot easier the range of motion when I do the typical movements for lower body like lunges, squats, deadlift, good mornings. That's all working with your hip flexors and hinging backwards. So here also what I'm doing is some alternated lateral lunges. You want to make sure that when you are warming up you are not doing static stretches so you're not staying in a stretch and holding it for 30 seconds that's basically gonna like defeat the purpose of working out you want to like wake up your muscles warm it up get that 
neuromuscular coordination started and not have your muscles relax because that's definitely gonna you know it's gonna deter your power and your strength that you're gonna have so here once again I'm just opening my hip flexors by doing a rotational kind of like a rotational cuff that you would do for the exercise on the cables but just standing up it's a bit tricky here because like this does require a bit of balance but you guys can also like hold on to the wall while doing this or hold on to like a bench that's at a 90 degree angle as well so once I finished warming up for a couple minutes my pre-workout started kicking in, so I just started to get a little groove on with the music and everything. I just love private gyms. So for my first exercise, what I am doing here are some goblet squats. So as you guys can see, I actually have a plate placed on the floor and my heels are on the plate, so my toes are touching the ground. I have a 25 pound dumbbell and I am just going down into a squat ass to grass. So as you guys can see, I'm trying to hinge back and go as low as possible and as I come up, I am thrusting my glutes, so I'm squeezing my glutes in. Not too much, you don't want to over thrust, that's not good for you. You just want to squeeze your glutes as though you have something like in your ass cheeks and you don't want it to fall out. That's the best way for me to describe it. So for here I did 12 reps and I did about 3 sets of those. Then once I finished that, I went straight in to do some stiff leg deadlifts. I love these exercises. honestly. It's super good for compound exercise. It works your quads, your hamstring, as well as your glutes. So for this one, I have two 25 pound dumbbells in my hand. And as you guys can see, I, my knees are slightly bended and I'm basically kind of like drawing a line with the dumbbells along the shin of my legs. And as I come up, I am squeezing my glutes at the top. It's super important to do that so you really keep the glutes engaged. And for this one, I aimed for about 12 to 15 reps. Like I pretty much did 12 to 15 reps for all my exercises. You also want to make sure that your back is always kept straight, spine is neutral. So you don't want to have that curve in your thoracic or a curve in your lumbar spine neither. And my feet are planted straight on the ground, shoulder width apart. So once I finished that and I did my three sets of those, I went straight in to do some lateral lunges. So lateral lunges, that basically works out your side glutes, so your glute gluteus minimus and medius. I don't know why I struggle saying those words, honestly. And I haven't done these in a long time. I want to like bring these back into my workouts because I used to do it way back, but now I really love them after doing this. This is really good for like hip dips and just, you know, working the side glutes because you want to make sure you target every single part of the glutes when you do lower body so here as I said I'm working the side glutes I did 15 with going towards the right side well that's my left side actually and then I did 15 going on the right side and I'm just carrying one dumbbell in my hand and I alternate and do the other side so next what we have is the famous the infamous Bulgarian split squats. So this is like a hate love relationship I have with these. They're super effective, but they burn like a you know what. So for the Bulgarian split squats, I actually did 12 reps. And what you guys want to keep note is that your knee that's in front doesn't pass over your toe. And the knee in back does not actually touch the ground. So after I did my 12 on the left side, I did 12 on my right side. And as you guys can kind of see more in this clip, I'm leaning my body more towards the front. So by doing this, you're actually targeting your glutes more. But this is still a very much of a compound exercise because it is targeting not just your glutes, but also your hamstring and your quads. It is a bit difficult because it does challenge your balance. So like a few times I kind of like lost my balance and just had to regain it. So if you guys are struggling with this or if you have weak ankles, you might have a bit more difficulty with doing this don't worry just drop the weights and focus on doing body weights until you get your stability up right then you want to add weights it's super important you guys to master the actual exercise before adding loads onto it because you're just going to injure yourself and of course i had to hip hip thrust like is it really a leg day if you don't do hip thrusts let's be real so i didn't do heavy loads i actually just did about 10 to 12 reps but i intensified it by adding resistant bands on my thighs and also i supersetted it but as i reached to my 10th rep what i actually did was i held the hip thrust to the top for about five seconds just to build up that tension as you guys can see and once i finished that i quickly went straight into hip abductors with the resistant bands just to really get those glutes activated and pumped so i did about 10 of those and that you guys you're going to feel it like hip thrust itself you already feel it in your glutes but when you superset it with hip abductors i promise you you're gonna feel the burn like every single time i do this with my clients they literally can't sit on their ass right afterwards and that's what you want to aim for that's when you know you got a good glute pumped in okay 
that was a good workout right, so i just got back to my car from the gym and i did not show you guys the stretches that i did at the end i forgot to film that part my bad but basically after every workout i always stretch for about three to five minutes and i do static stretches so what that basically is you're basically going into a stretch and you're holding the stretch for 30 seconds so you can really feel the pull in the muscle and the tissue now you have to stretch you have to stretch i don't hold on i'm getting so hot in my car it is hot. It is hot for September. I ain't complaining though. As I was saying, you guys have to stretch. It's super important for you to stretch after every exercise. Oh, she's probably hearing me right now. Like, who's she talking to? Anyways, majumon food. You have to stretch after every exercise. It's super, super important because it just helps with repairing your tissues and it also helps with soreness. Now, granted, you're still going to feel sore, especially if you did a really intense workout, but it does help with soreness. It does reduce the soreness. And I always tell my clients when I train them, you might feel sore for the next two, three, whatever, how many days, depending on how intense your workout is, depending on what your fitness level is at. But it's super important, even after the workout, the following day, you want to stretch again. Always stretch. Even if you didn't work out, stretching is super important, especially when it comes to flexibility. Like, one thing you guys may not know, I don't put you on to game, okay? When you're stretching, you're obviously stretching your joints out to get you more flexibility in your joints. So if you stretch on a regular basis now, you are making your joints more flexible. Thus, you're giving yourself more range of motion. Thus, when you are doing an exercise now that involves those joints, you will have a greater range of motion now this is super important and super good especially like for example you're say you're doing squats and you realize for squats you can't go as low and as deep as you want to now there's so many different other reasons that can be an issue with that it can be something wrong with your myofascial sling it could be something wrong with your ankles you know weak ankles whatever whatever hips but also a big thing could be you don't have the flexibility in your hip joints which is what really hinges your Anyways, we're not going to all technical with that. But it's what really is used when you're doing a squat. And if you stretch often, you will increase the range of motion and be able to do a deeper squat. You're welcome. But that's pretty much it for this video. I'm definitely probably going to do another video like come with me to the gym for upper body workout. Because I know sometimes, ladies, it can be intimidating, especially with upper body. Like a lot of women tend to skip upper body. I feel like maybe because they don't want to look bulky, which I say all the time, that's not going to freaking happen to you. Or you just don't know what to do. So I'm going to show you guys what I do. Hopefully that can be helpful for you as well. And if you guys like videos like this, definitely let me know. It definitely helps me to know like what kind of content to create as well. So put that in the comment box below. What kind of workouts you want to see me do? What other type of muscles while I work out do you want to see me do as well? And like this video, of course. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't at this point by now. And I will catch you guys in the next video. I'm going to go to my house. We'll go home, have something to eat. Most likely protein, veggies, and a bit of carbs because, you know, protein good for your soul. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.